Whatever comes our way, whatever battle we have raging inside us, we always have a choice. My friend Harry taught me that. He chose to be the best of himself. It's the choices that make us who we are. And we can always choose to do what's right. This is breaking news. We come to you now with revelations about last week's attack in London. An anonymous source provided this video, which shows Quentin Beck, a.k.a. Mysterio, moments before his death. A warning you may find this video disturbing. I managed to send the elemental back to the dimensional rift, but I don't think I'm going to make it off this bridge alive. Spider-Man attacked me for some reason. He has an army of weaponized drones, Stark technology. He's saying he's the only one who's going to be the new Iron Man. No one else. Are you sure you want to commence the drone attack? There will be significant casualties. Do it. Execute them all. The shocking video was released earlier today on the controversial news website, thedailybugle.net. There you have it, folks. Conclusive proof that Spider-Man was responsible for the brutal murder of Mysterio, an interdimensional warrior who gave his life to protect our planet and who will no doubt go down in history as the greatest superhero of all time. But that's not all, folks. Here's the real blockbuster. Brace yourselves. You might want to sit down. Spider-Man's real. Spider-Man's real name is... Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the f Yeah, that blind guy gave me his card in case Spider-Man ever needs a lawyer. Wait, hold on. If he's blind, how did he know I was Spider-Man? Bailiff, ring the defendant, please. my identity pretty guarded this past couple of years. I face a lot of deception. You. And I'm tired. You don't want to tell us? I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you exactly what kind of man you are. You're the kind of man this city needs. Because, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we all know this city needs help. It needs it now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not when the day comes when the corruption that Wilson Fisk left in his wake is flushed out for good and the police force is finally back on its feet. We need it now. This city's been sick. And the cops, they can't fix it alone. They need, we all need, men and women who are willing to take the fight themselves, the kind of people who risk their lives so that we can walk safe at night in our own neighborhoods. The ones our esteemed district attorney here is trying so hard to destroy. New York needs these people. We need heroes.